Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. This question is asking consider a 1.2 meter high and 2 meter wide double pane window consisting of two, I mean, three millimeter thick layers of glass, and here they have given the thermal conductivity of the glass separated by a 12 millimeter wide segment air space and as thermal, thermal conductivity also given. Determine the steady rate of heat transfer. So this is our first question through the double pane window and the temperature of its inner surface for, for a day during the during which the room temperature is maintained at 24 degrees Celsius while the temperature of the outdoor is negative 5 degrees Celsius, right? So take the convection heat transfer coefficients on the inner and outer surface of the window to be these two values and disregard any heat transfer by radiation and let's see how we can do this problem so first of all in order to do this problem we have to calculate the area and inner resistance right so let's calculate the area first area is going to be 1.2 meter high and 2 meter width so this is going to be area is equal to 1.2 meter high times 2 meter width and if you multiply them together that's going to give you 2.4 meter square so this is our area now let's go ahead and calculate the inner resistance in a individual inner resistance right so we are going to calculate individual individual inner resistance okay so now what I can what we can do is just draw a sample diagram for this one like for this one so this is gonna look like this right so we are going to have okay so this is our diagram and in the middle we have air right and these two are glasses now let's share this with different color that will make that will make things clear. So these two are glasses and this is air. And the inner resist, I mean resistance is going to be first of all we are going to have resistance due to so we have two different two different heat transfers. One is convection and convection. So this one is going to be convection. So the, this is our indoor and then other all of the inside things are going to be conduction and again outdoor is going to be convection right so this is R out and let's say this is R1, R2, R3 right so all we have to do is calculate the resistance of each, uh, each of them and since they are going to our series we can add them together so let's go ahead and calculate the resistance first so first are R indoor R indoor is a convection so we are going to have 1 over H times area so indoor H is given by 10 watts per meter square right indoor is 10 watts per meter square and uh, meter square Kelvin and outdoor is given by 25 watts per meter square Kelvin. Here we are going to, we are calculating indoor, indoor resistance. So this is going to be indoor value, right? So this is going to be 1 over 10 times the area, that is 2.4. And if you calculate this value, this is going to give you 0 0.04167 degrees Celsius per watts. And let's go ahead and calculate the R1. R1 is going to be conduction. So conduction to calculate the conduction resistance we have to use the formula L1 over K1A. And if you notice we have R1 and R3 are same material. So we can and the thickness also same. Here they have given, given that 3 millimeter thickness. So both of them are going to be having same thickness same area same conduction uh, thermal conduction thermal conductivity 
So the, the results for both of them is going to be same. So we don't have to calculate separately. We can just equate both of them, right? So we can mention right here, R1 is equal to R3. And let's calculate this value. L1 is thickness, that is 3 millimeter. That is same as 0 0.003 meter. Divided by thermal conductivity of the glass, that's provided by 0 0.78. 0 0.78 and then area, that is 2.4 meter square. That's what, that's what we calculated first, right? 2.4 meter square. And if you calculate this value, that's going to give you 0 0.00160 degrees Celsius per watts. Now we have calculated R1 and R3. Let's go ahead and calculate the R2. So here we are going to have R2. R2 is equal to R2 is again conduction, so we are going to use L1, so this L2, right? L2 over K2A. So L2 is thickness of the air, that's given by 12 millimeter, so this is going to be 0 0.012 meter, divided by thermal conductivity of the air is given by 0 0.026, 0 0.026, times the area that is 2.4 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 0 0.19231 degrees Celsius per watts so we have calculated R2 and we already calculated R3 R1 and R3 same and let's go ahead and calculate R out R out is going to be convection convection we use 1 over H2A so this is H1A, this is H2A, and here maybe let's choose a different color. R, R node is equal to 1 over H2A and 1 over, this is uh, this value H2, key transfer coefficient for outside is given by 25 watts per meter square Kelvin. So this is 25 times the area that is 2.4 and uh, that's it. If you calculate this one that's going to give you 0 0.01667 degrees Celsius per watts. Now we have calculated the all, all the inner resistance. Now all we have to do is add them together. So let's uh, raise this part maybe. Okay, now total resistance, our total is going to be addition of all of them. So first we have 0 0.0467 plus 0 0.00160 times 2 because this is for R1 and R3, right? Times 2 plus this value 0. 19231 plus the last one that is 0.01667 and that's it if you add them together that's going to give you 0 0.25385 equal to degrees Celsius per watts. Now we have calculated the total resistance but the question is asking for asking to calculate the steady rate heat transfer. So we are going to use this information to calculate steady rate heat transfer. Let's see how we can do this. So here what we do. So Q dot is equal to temperature indoor minus temperature outdoor divided by R total. So this is the equation we use to calculate the steady rate heat transfer. So let this, let's say this is A part, right? So here we have temperature indoor. That is, indoor is 24 degrees Celsius, 
minus outdoor that is negative 5 degrees Celsius so this is going to be minus 5 over r total is 0 0.25385 right and if you calculate this value this one comes out to be 114 watts 114 watts so this answers the first question right so this is the answer for the first question now let's go ahead and do the second part they are asking for the through this pen and window and the temperature of its inner surface for a day so we have to calculate the temperature of the inner surface to calculate this one what we can do maybe I raise some of this right so let's continue this one right here Now we are doing the B part. B part we are trying to calculate the inner surface temperature. To calculate this one we use the same equation but in this case instead of outdoor we use inner surface. So this is going to be T indoor 1 minus T1 this is inner surface over R total. Here we are trying to find T1. So let's rearrange this equation. Right. So let's rearrange this one. This is going to be Q dot times R total is going to be equal to T indoor 1 minus T1. Now let's bring this uh, T indoor 1 to this side. So this is going to be q dot times r total minus t indoor 1 is equal to minus t1 now let's multiply everything by negative 1 so that's going to give us t1 is equal to t indoor 1 minus q dot times r total now let's go ahead and plug the values Alright, so we have T1 is equal to indoor that is given by so outdoor is negative 5, indoor is 24, right? So 24 minus Q dot is 114 watts, that's what we found. 114 watts times R total. R total is 0 0.25385 and if you calculate this value that's going to give you 19.2 degrees Celsius and that's going to be the in inner surface temperature and that's how we do this kind of problems I hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time